everyone. Today we are learning about solve comparison problems using multiplication. Our keywords here are comparison and multiplication. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Example 1. Write a multiplication equation to represent the comparison, then solve the equation. So here is the statement. 35 is 7 times as many as, then you have question mark, it's asking you what, as many as what. So 35, let's write the 35 first, is... Remember, it simply means equals to. Then we have seven times. That has a multiplicative comparison. So we're going to write seven times. It says as many as what. That's what we're looking for. So here we have what number we multiply seven to give you 35. So we got 35 as a whole then we have the 7 starting then how many times are we gonna have the 7 3 4 and 5 so we're gonna have the 7 5 times to make up 35 so here we go 35 equals 7 times 5 it's very easy that's it Okay, let's take a look at another example quickly. Example 2. This time around, 24 is 8 times as many as what? So I want you to pause the video, then pick up your pen and your paper and write your answer out. Then you can play the video again to see and check if you are correct. So we have 24, write it out as a number, 24 is, that's equal to. Then we have 8 times, so I'm going to write 8 times, then as many as what? Question mark, that's what we're looking for. So if we have a bar diagram, let's look at the bar diagram, we have 24 as a whole, starting with 8. So I'm going to see how many times will I put up this 8 to make up 24. So we have the second one and the third one. So that means 3 times. So 24 equals 8 times 3. That's a good one. It's very easy. That's quite easy. Uh, this time around, let's look at uh, a problem solving. You can still pause the video and try. Give it a go. All right, let's start. A tomato plant is 48 inches tall. So, very important. So, we can write out tomato plant equals 48. These we are aware of from the first sentence of the question. Let's take a look at the, what we have next from the second sentence. We have, how many times as tall is the tomato plant? So, how many times? That appears to be the question. So, let's start with the tomato plant, which is 48. Then is, that is equal to, what? That is how many times? That's the question mark. As a pepper plant. So we are comparing it with a pepper plant that is 8 inches tall. So we know that the pepper plant is 8 inches tall. So we are comparing the tomato plant and the pepper plant using multiplicative comparison. So we go 48 equals what we are looking for, multiply the pepper plant, which is 8. So how many times is that going to be? 
We are asked to draw a bar diagram. So let's start with um, a bar diagram that shows 48 in total as the height. If I start with 8, so how many times am I going to have this 8 up the ladder to give me 48? So the second one, the third one, the number 4, the number 5, and the number 6. So that means if I count my 8, 6 times is going to give me 48. And that's it. All right, you can play back the video for better understanding. See you in another lesson. Bye.